Compassion is a powerful emotion. It's about truly seeing the pain of others and feeling a deep desire to help. It's more than just feeling sorry or offering empty words. Compassion moves us to action. Empathy is part of this journey. It's about stepping into someone else's shoes, feeling their emotions as if they were our own. But empathy alone isn't enough. We need to turn that understanding into action. That's where compassion thrives. Sympathy is the first step. It acknowledges someone's suffering. We might feel sadness or concern, but sympathy can be passive. Compassion demands more from us. It calls us to engage with the pain we see. Compassion is the driving force of a humane society. It binds us together. It fuels our desire to make a difference in the world. Without it, we become isolated and disconnected. Sadly, our world seems to be losing its capacity for compassion. We are increasingly bombarded with images and stories of suffering. It's easy to become overwhelmed and numb. This constant exposure can lead to compassion fatigue. I remember walking down a busy street one evening. A homeless man was huddled in a doorway, shivering in the cold. People rushed by, barely glancing at him. Where was the compassion? Had we become so desensitized to suffering? Another time I witnessed a group of teenagers bullying a younger child. They were laughing and jeering, their words like weapons. What struck me was the indifference of the bystanders. No one intervened, no one spoke up. These experiences left me deeply troubled. They revealed a disturbing truth about our society. We are becoming increasingly self-centered. Our focus is on our own lives, our own problems. We have lost the ability to see the humanity in others. This lack of compassion has profound consequences. When we lose our empathy, we become capable of great cruelty. We turn a blind eye to injustice. We dehumanize those who are different from us. A society without compassion is a breeding ground for hatred and division. It creates a climate of fear and distrust. When we fail to connect with each other on a human level, we become vulnerable to prejudice and discrimination. The consequences are all around us. We see it in the rise of hate crimes, in the demonization of marginalized groups, in the erosion of civility and respect in our public discourse. We cannot stand idly by while our world becomes increasingly fractured. We must rediscover the power of compassion. It is not a sign of weakness but of strength. Compassion is not a passive emotion. It requires conscious effort and practice. Just like any skill, it can be cultivated and strengthened over time. Start by paying attention to the world around you. Notice the suffering of others. Listen to their stories with an open heart. Put yourself in their shoes. Imagine what it would be like to walk in their place. Look for opportunities to show kindness and generosity. Even small acts of compassion can make a difference. Offer a helping hand to someone in need. Speak up against injustice. Donate to a worthy cause. Remember that everyone is fighting their own battles. Be patient and understanding. Treat others with the same compassion and respect that you would want for yourself. The world needs your compassion now more than ever. Let us choose to build a world where everyone feels seen, valued and loved. Together we can make a difference.